going on everybody I missed y'all seems like forever since I did a tutorial well um, I am back and everyone has been asking me to do a tutorial on Adobe Audition 3 so that's what I've decided to do um, I have not encountered a problem with 3 yet um, CS6 I started to experience like it would freeze my whole computer when I went to record my ad libs um, and so they definitely need to work on that before they release 7 um, but Adobe Audition 3 is a good program um, I it's okay I'm um, not the best one I encountered but long as the latency and lagging and everything it doesn't do so it's alright with me for now so I'm gonna get into it um, let's open it up um, I'm not going to be going over the beginner stuff um, because a lot of this is self-explanatory and it's the same as I told y'all in another tutorial for CS6 I think it was um, so I'm just going to open up a new session now this is the way that I mix everything um, right here I have a R&B vocal um, R&B artist his vocals for a hook for a song that me or one of my artists might do so um, pretty much I'm going to let y'all I'm going to just go into the mixing process and I'll let y'all hear it so without the beat and then with the beat um, now I'm using all factory plugins I do not have the plugins I had that was in my other tutorials. I don't have those no more. Um, I uploaded them to Mega Upload and put the video on YouTube. And YouTube actually deleted the video and suspended my account. And Mega Upload took the file down. So I'm trying to get those waves back so I can get them to y'all somehow. Um, but I don't even have them yet. So. I'm still working on it. Just give me some time and I'll get it to y'all. Um, but pretty much on here, um, without it, I mean, with it being highlighted and everything, you go to effects, go to filter and EQ, go to parametric equalizer, and you just click on the preset bar and you go to generic high pass, and it'll look like that. Um, I don't change nothing over here or down there. Um, so you just hit OK. Um, after that, you do Dynamics Processing, and then do click on it and go to Wrap Presence, and then you hit OK. Now, some people will tell you, like, to zoom in, zoom in and delete stuff, like highlight it, and then, like, right-click and mute. You don't have to do that, because after you do the Generic High Pass and the Wrap Presence, it's going to do that for you automatically so that's a big time time saver right there because that's annoying to keep going in on every single track that gets on my nerves um, but after that you go to revert go to studio revert and preset box and pretty much you go to mastering revert now I don't change anything on here but you can, depending on what kind of sound you want, like you could um, change the wet and dry, you could change the room size, um, everything. So that's totally up to you. But usually I just leave it alone and just hit OK. Now, here comes the fun part. You go to Special and Mastering. Um, now, this is an R&B vocal, R&B artist that I'm working with on this. So this is what I got the best sound from, the way that it's set up right now. Um, you could mess with this as much as you want, which I prefer you to do um, to get whatever type of sound you're trying to get. Um, because this will probably take up most of your time. Um, he has a deep voice when he sings, and so I took a lot of the lows out, raised the highs up, and that's how I shit. Um, but pretty much um, within this plugin. There's a lot of things you could do, um, like it gets your vocals more clear, um, and you can actually, if you mess with the 
if you mess with it, whatever, like, I don't remember how I did, what I had it at before, but I think it was like something similar to like this or something, I think, um, to get a telephone effect, um, I did it for my ad libs in one of my songs for my last mixtape, um, but this program right here or whatever, this plugin is pretty decent. Um, but you could just choose default or substitute clarity. Like substitute clarity will look like this, and I pretty much check the high and the low, and I uncheck peaking, and then that's whatever you could go in and go ham and do whatever you want to do um, to get whatever sound you need. Um, so pretty much mess around with that till you get the right sound, and you just hit OK. Now after you do that, last one. This is the last one, I promise y'all. Because the more effects that you add, the more robotic it sounds. So, I, I keep it to five plugins that will make your that will make your vocal sound perfect. Um, amplitude and compression. Um, you go down to multi-band compressor. And in the preset bar, go to raise vocals. And don't mess with nothing. Just hit OK. Now, that's going to boost it up. Um... I mean, so if yours end up like something like that, or even that, turn it down um, with that, with the knob right there, because um, whatever you do, you do not want your vocals all the way up there. You should be able to see the top and bottom of your vocals with no problem. Um, now, um, people have been asking me what equipment I use. Um, I just remembered that. I have the MXL 990 microphone. Um, I have the M Audio Fast Track Pro interface, and I have the Alice's M1 Active 320 USB monitors. That is all that I have. I don't have no preamps, nothing like that. Um, just those three things that I just named, plus my mic stand and my pop filter, and that's it. Um, pretty much my M Audio interface cost me about $90 at a store called Music Go Around, um, which is here in Pittsburgh, and I know that they're nationwide. Um, they have a website, musicgoaround.com. You can search. They sell and buy gear, equipment all the time. Um, and they're a lot cheaper than everybody else, like Guitar Center. Uh, and speaking of Guitar Center, um, that's where I got my M1 Active USB um, monitors at for eighty dollars there um, my pop filter was only five dollars at music go around my mic stand was only twenty dollars at music go around um, and my microphone it came in a case with another with an instrument microphone but it came out to like a hundred and fifty dollars um, for the case and so I felt that was a good deal and I had that microphone for over a year now and it's been working perfect um, so, people will tell you you guys spend a lot of money. No, you don't. Do whatever is in your budget, um, whatever you can afford. Um, like, even if you work at McDonald's. No disrespect to people that, to the McDonald's employees. I'm just saying, um, pretty much, no matter what you do, where you work at, no matter how you make your money, illegally, legally, doesn't matter. Um, you, I mean, like, you could spend $300, probably, well, I'll say you can get a good, decent bit of equipment for three hundred dollars. Um, and but if you want to turn it up a notch, then that's whenever you could go to Guitar Center and spend. I mean, like for brand new stuff. Um, only thing I have that's used is my interface, um, and that's it. Everything else was brand new when I brought it, um, and I never had a problem with anything. But. Um, now back to this. Uh, let me let y'all hear this without the beat, so y'all can get a feel for it. Don't play me, girl. You know you want it, girl. Don't play me, girl. You know you want it, girl. Don't play me, girl. You know you want it, girl. 
Don't play me, girl. You know you want it. I'm a goldie. Goldie. I'm a goldie. And deep down in your pussy, I'm a goldie. Goldie. I'm a goldie. And deep down in your pussy, girl. All right, now you see that his voice is still a little deep. Um, so I'm, but I'm not even gonna mess with it because. I'm gonna let y'all hear with the beat now and you can tell the difference. Don't play me, girl. You know you want it, girl. Don't play me, girl. You know you want it, girl. Don't play me, girl. You know you want it, girl. Don't play me, girl. You know you want it. I'm a goldie. Now see, without the beat, his voice sounds deep, but with the beat, it sounds perfect. Um, I know the only thing I gotta do now is just mess with the volume and everything, but that's pretty much it. Um, but overall, I, I give a W audition 3, like a 7 out of 10. Um, it's not the best, but it works. Um, no problems, nothing. Um, so, um, also, I'm also a ghostwriter. I wrote that hook um, that you just heard. Um, I write verses, hooks, um, I make beats. I do graphic designing. Um, this right here is, is the next mixtape I'm working on. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I do the mastering songs and everything. So no matter what you need, hit me up. I got you, I can let you know my prices. Um, which I'm very affordable and cheap. Yeah. Um, pretty much though, um, comment, subscribe, rate, um, follow me at IMTZ412. I'm gonna have a link to my mixtape in the description box. Make sure y'all check it out, download it for free. It's on that piff. Um, yeah, and that's it. So make sure y'all um, comment, message me, whatever. All right, y'all, I'm out. Y'all have a good day.